Hi right, guys, welcome back to Path of Exile. Uh, we've equipped some microtransactions just a little bit, nothing too over the top. I got like the, the nice like twitch fucking sword. And uh, I think I think you also get some other stuff here. I think uh, there's like a twitch portal. Yeah, there's a purple portal effect. But uh, we're not sellouts, so we're gonna not go completely overboard with that. But I, mean, I have a nice... A lot of these effects, I mean, we've played the game so much and we've, we've actually sunk money into a free-to-play game. Who would have thought? And we also uh, won a lot of shit in races, too, because that's the one thing you can do if you are just a skin flint. So we were just at Tidal Island, and as you can see, that doesn't really go anywhere, so we actually need to go back to the coast waypoint. We go over here. There's another place to go. So, last time, there was apparently fucking, like, Roa's coming back to life. Actually, this purple sword looks fucking awesome. God, what what a sellout! First fucking razor, now Twitch. I mean, Jesus. It it, I mean, it's not the Twitch logo on the fucking ground. Okay, let's be honest. Okay, you know what? You're totally right. Uh, I, I need to put that back on my first slot here. Okay. I actually like this sword a lot. I mean, it, by the way, nothing has really changed with this sword. It's just the it's weapon effects, and that's how they make their money in this. It's the same. It's the same shitty sword that I picked up ages ago. Oh, and I, I also started using my Quicksilver. I I used it by accident. Alright. Oh, there's another Crowded Blade, but that one has no gem sockets. So, in some cases, we'll, we'll just keep that on us in case we get another thing with sockets on it, but... I mean, in some cases, you don't want to use something just because uh, you, you're using the sockets on another item, so... And apparently, a pad is now summoning zombies. Yeah, I'm gonna summon zombies. Oh, wait, you already said that. Yeah. Well, I certainly did. Not wisdoms. Do you need some of these? I think you do. All right, let's I go check out the. Wisdoms. Let's go check out the feathered pool. I like how there's just destroyed houses and stuff now. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, they've changed the game so much, and yeah, there's kind of lighting effects here now. <gasps> oh, it's all. Is that orange? I. Uh, is that is? It might be. I actually okay. don't know. Oh, it's all orange. Not not a strong orange. It's more like a brownish orange. Okay, this I, is... I just I guess here because I can't see color. Well, you can't you can see most colors. Yeah, I can I can see most colors, but not some. Mr. Specific. All right, we got another point. I'm gonna put that into now some evasion, and armor, and also some life. You, I mean, honestly, with the builds, you, you can't go wrong with more life. Speaking of life, there's a coral ring on the ground. I don't think we're gonna use that though. I will use that. that. Yeah. I'm just, I mean, coral rings are pretty good, but I mean, fucking, we want damage. Fuck life, go all the way to damage. Oh, oh are there? you going to be glass cannon? I, of course I am. I picked up another small flask there, and oh, it's Cadaverous the Defiler. Cut. Yes, the best of names, the most meme of names, the one you'll forget probably in five minutes. All right, so we got a chest plate here. I'll take that for myself. Pat can have the bow, even though he's not going to use the bow. Yeah. And now the sockets look particularly good here, and now the weapons look particularly good. But we have a real nice chest piece now. I'll need to build up some muscle for this one. I apparently will need to build up some muscle. Oh. All right, all right, Pat. We're gonna have to fucking. That's go just to gonna the make gym. the duelist's hot body even hotter. <laughs> Has to build up muscle. Dude, you're a duelist. Shouldn't you be like 90% muscle already? Do you want the large mana flask there? I there totally go. do. I'm sucking down mana potions like a cr like it's like crack. Yeah, we could stay. I could stay with the small. Luckily, we we appear to be on polar opposites in terms of like what builds are going. I'm going for the. Oh yeah, face. totally. Uh, I I don't know. When it comes to Pat, like I can't convince him not to play Scion, So. Bullshit. I played a Templar like two times, and I I, I tried to make a Marauder work once. Every single time that there's something that's like, um, even slightly remotely could have the chance to work. Mike, it'll totally work this time, I promise! Yeah, that's, that sounds like you. I, I forgot, what, what build was it that you constantly tried to make a build around, and then when it became popular, then like you're like, fuck this, I'm not doing it anymore. Oh, no. When they first introduced, like, there's a mechanical we'll go into a lot later on in the game, but when they introduced it, it made a certain build on the Scion viable. And I'm like, dude, Mike, look at this. And then I did the concept, I made it, I got it to work, and I'm like, this is so awesome! Not even 12 hours later, 
it gets nerfed. The thing, the one thing that I thought I could work with, gone. No, but I'm there, so mad. But there's some skill or something that you kept trying to use. Oh, I, dominating blow. Oh yeah. No, not even so, that. Not even that. One? I thought that one worked really well. You, you don't like any of my builds, dude. No, I, I really don't. All right, so there's no monsters left, so we can kind of just head back. So basically, this this place is a giant nice loop, uh, and we've removed the corruption from the feathered pool forever. I like how you're like, Pat, what's that one shitty build you did that actually worked? And I've named no, off no, no, like... No, 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 no. It, it was shitty, and then, and then like, it was shitty forever. And you never made it work, and then the minute that they buffed the ability, you're like, I'm never using that again. Because it, it became meta. Times. It became meta, and you're like, fuck it. It's happened a couple times. I don't even remember Jesus, what it was. Jesus, trying to remember. I don't know. So we're trying to pick up the eggs where, well, it's the quest is called literally breaking some eggs. And, uh, I mean, it doesn't really explain much of why we're doing that. We're trying oh, to... That's what the guy told us to do. I mean, it's just strange glyphs that are on the ground. Oh, actually, he didn't tell us that. It's just, there's glyphs on the ground, so, like, I don't know what the fuck these are. I mean, it, one of them there's even looks like shells. a... Yeah, it looks like fucking seashells. Like, how is They're that, like, all a... They're all seashells. You're like, one of them. No, they all do, dude. Well, well, like, why is that something our character's like, hmm, that seems suspicious. Seashells on the beach? Hmm. Okay, well, Mike, if you broke if you broke open an egg, like, you, you were going, you're, like, on a chicken farm, and you broke open an egg, and there was a seashell in it, wouldn't you be a little bit surprised? Like, how how did my chicken shit out a seashell in an egg? You know, those are I'd not be a little bit concerned. And here's the uh, boss of this area, who's back of the loop. And we're just... Sounds pretty much delicious. kicked his ass. Uh, so the, he dropped a skill gem called Reckoning. It's a uh, counterattack when you block with your shield. Uh, neither of us are blocking, and neither of us are block builds, so they're kind of worthless. <laughs> kind of worthless. Oh, here we go. Augmentation. Okay, well, I picked it up apparently. Pat, give me that fucking I did? Shield. Yes, you did, you fucker. Oh. So if you ever find this, you him. Alright, so this... So this this item is um, enchants a magic item, which is a blue item, with a new random property. Magic items can only have two properties, so you're really just adding one thing. So for this Quicksilver Flask, I'm going to add it on, and we got increased block and stun recovery during Flask Effect. That's all we got from that. But You're not even a block build. I mean, you, we, there's also currency to re-roll it, if, that, if that's what we want. But there's actually no such thing as rare flasks, so we can't have, like, for example, the uh, chest piece I have here is a rare. Which could have up to six properties. Uh, you can't do that with flasks. Oh, so here's a strange glyph wall. Oh. And it made all the water go down. Like the thing you picked up. I never yeah. actually noticed that before. Sorry, what? Those markings on the wall actually look like the seashells we picked up. Yeah. By the seashore. Are we? Oh, we are by the seashore, aren't we? Oh, oh my god. Holy that's... shit, did I just blow your mind? No, but I still think it's funny. Alright, let's go back to town and uh, talk to people. Fuck. Oh, okay. I apparently couldn't talk to him. Yeah, so his, his dog got all fucky on me. Like how fucky? I don't know, I couldn't hear him. I'm gonna try and talk to him again. Uh, I gotta decide what fucking ability I want in here, though. Probably decoy totem, honestly. Oh, that's what I picked up, actually. I mean, then I'll get Ancestral Protector. Yeah, let's get Ancestral Protector. That's probably way better for you, anyway. Yeah, that's a totem, and we'll get into totems in a minute. Yeah, the, the dialogue is fucked up for me right now. Uh-oh. Reep! Yeah, what the fuck? I just restart your game real quick. It'll be fine. Alright, let's see if oh, I can do I have to say dialogue. test, test, test? A second. Stay sharp out there. Okay, he seems okay now. Uh, let me go talk to him again. Except I don't think he repeats that dialogue. I've traveled inland on the Emperor's Road via Prisoner's Gate. Had to skirt around Axiom Prison. That's the holdfast of Brutus the Warden. Bloody treacherous trip it was. Worth it? There's forest inland. Game, berries, fruit. More food than we can scrounge here. But most here wouldn't survive the journey. Would be a damn sight easier if we could pass through the prison. Tell you what, you carve us a path up the coast, find us a way past or through Brutus, and you'll have more than a few lives owing to you. Now that you've drained that passage, best I warn you about something. I was running down a wounded rower one night's eve when I glimpsed something in that waterlogged cavern. 
looked a bit like a sand spitter, only the size of a bloody ox. I reckon it's nesting down in those flooded depths somewhere. If you're going that way, then do us a favor. Spill the old shield crab's guts before it gets hungry and comes looking for us. Farewell. I guess that's everyone to talk to. Um, so one of the quest rewards they gave me was actually a book of regrets, which is uh, two passive respec points. Um, and we can just use that it's just for a character. You can't sell it, you can't do anything. So any kind of book reward that you get from characters, it's just you might as well just use it right away. Uh, so for those, um, you now have, you can refund passive. So if you fucked up in your tree already, uh, you can actually kind of re respect them out. But I'm going to cancel that because I don't want it to do that. Um, so that's something you can do. And that's actually a kind of currency to respect out of things in your passive tree. So that's kind of neat to do. So anyways, let's uh, help I can offer. Let me sell these two things here. Maybe I should identify this one. I think I get more out of it when I, when I do that. Yeah, I kind of do. All right. While we live, we are blessed. And I usually keep quality flasks around for a recipe, but that's for later. You don't have to do that. It's something I do. It's weird. And I guess we'll have ancestral protector. Okay. Um. By the way, Nessa here will sell as gems. So if there's something I want here, uh, apparently ruthless. Every third attack with its supported melee skills deals a ruthless blow. That sounds awesome. I don't know if I should do that. But we could also decide to take on uh, Molten Strike as well, if we wanted to. It's also Ground Slam, but we have a sword, so it won't work. Oh, Frost Blades? Should I try oh. that one? <laughs> oh, fuck you, Mike. <laughs> That's originally what I was going to do. I literally spent like three days trying to convince Mike to play a Frost Blades build, and then it's like at the last minute, Pat, I don't think I'm going to like Frost Blades. I, I mean, I, I kind of looked at it. I'm, I'm just like, like you son sure. of a bitch. Kind of wasn't sure about it. All right, I'll do it on my own time and make it great. Make it great again. So, Zach. of course, this stuff costs money to try out, so I'm not too sure about any of this. I don't know. I think I'm pretty good with having cleave and double strike as my two abilities. So, I think ruthless would be good to pick up, if anything. But that's just me. I mean, yes. I guess I can, but that's that would be on the totem, though. I mean, the totem hits. Okay, fine. I'll take it then. Be well. Putting that in the boots there. All right, let's go back into Submerged Passage then. So totems are something that's, uh, you get basically one of them, and unless you get certain passives in the tree that increase them. But in my case, this is going to be one that's going to basically, it attacks with my weapon and uh, makes life easy. It's actually kind of Well, I picked the totem that just taunts everything and makes it attack it instead of us. You can see he's just hitting everything. Yeah, he's got the taunt totem. So I mean, it's one of those things so you can. Nice. It's one of those things I can just have that I can just throw down and, and not care about it. Oh goodness, there's a guy named Haku up there. Oh, is it time to tell him Moana again? Yeah. Tell him Moana, warrior. I'm gonna listen to what he has to say. Yes, I call you warrior. Your eyes have already swept your surroundings, identifying threats and escape routes. There is anticipation in your stance, deadly focus in the easy ebb and tide of your breath. Yours is a heart that fights with every beat. I have need of a heart like that. In that haunted place there, a Karui's spirit awaits you. Lost he was. More than two centuries ago, fallen beyond battle. Bring him to me so that I might return him to his rightful place. It takes a warrior to find a warrior. Alright, we got a mission. With this guy, uh, these are these are the masters in this game. It was a mechanic added long ago, and they basically just give you some kind of bitch quest to do: defend this, kill that. Usually pretty simple. Track down that. Yeah, pretty much. Um, they're kind of worth doing. So anytime you see it, uh, at least early on, if you if you if it's your first time, just do them all. They give a large variety of benefits, so it's it's. I I, I disagree with Mike. They're very worth doing. I would do them every time. I mean. Whatever, sure. Alright, we got another point, and we're almost to our first big-ass point. Almost there. It took us a while, but yeah. But luckily for, you guys, there, luckily for you guys, we picked a nice, flexible build. It doesn't matter what, what you decided to do, and there's a giant fucking muscly man 
ghost in front of me, Pat. Please and he me. is just shooting your face. Now you're shooting my face, never mind. Alright, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that, uh, that fucking flask right here. There you go. That's a little bit better. Alright. So, he wanted us to take the find the query spirit, we found it, we click it. Oh no, we got it. I might as well just level all this crap up in the meantime. <laughs> the so music gets intense, might as well just do something else. <laughs> well, now the muscly man is on my back. He looks suspiciously like the muscly man you summon. <laughs> just saying. Shit. Muscly man is summoning more shit. Uh, it's, he's resing things back to life. Jesus, he is. Yeah, I'm just gonna run past him. I don't even give a fuck. I don't worry. Me, me and my uh, Zombros got it. Alright, we did what you wanted. A lost spirit returned to feast with the ancestors and be born once more into the Karui way. We shall speak again when next you come to Lion Eye's watch. For there is much that we might yet share, my ally. All right, we are never gonna talk to this guy again. Like, I'm not gonna listen to what he fucking has to say, because every time, every time, he's just gonna say something like, "There are some water exile." Tell the water. I have fucking quest for you. Go down into my cave. My fucking sex. Do my laundry. Find the gimp. Find my fucking gimp. Release the gimp. Yeah, nothing's really good there. Oh, and what's this, Pat? You want to explain what this is? No, no, right. So this is an essence. This was a league thing that was introduced probably about two, three years ago. Um, what happens is it is a set of monsters that is imprisoned within an essence. And that essence, in this case a whispering essence of contempt, adds certain modifiers to the fireworks that Mike shoots off in my face. That's modifiers to the monsters. If we kill the monsters, we get the, uh, the essence. The end. Mike, activate the thing. Alright. Say fucking two times. Hard ass monster comes over here. Wants to beat my face in. Mind you, it's still just a hard ass crab because you know we're in a crab area, but you know, whatever. And there we go, we just got a whispering essence of contempt. We'll upgrade. A what essence? A whispering essence of contempt. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, whispering. Upgrades a normal item to a rare with one guaranteed uh, property, and its properties are whatever it says here. Um, so. I mean, I, I don't really want any of this, so... I mean, that's I, a physical, that's a physical essence, dude. It is, but I, I, I don't really... Uh, actually, you know what? You're fine. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, use, use it. Yeah. Use on the sword I have. And so now it just is now a kind of slightly stronger variant of the sword. So I'm going to continue to upgrade stuff. Look, it's now glowing even more purple, Pat. Do you see the sword? Holy shit. It's actually not at all. So, oh. Yeah. I couldn't tell. Yeah. Oh, can you see the color purple? No, no. Oh. It just kind of looks like a you got like a gray cloud kind of impaled on your sword. Oh, okay. Uh, I know it's sad. I'm not even gonna bother leaving a portal up there. I don't know if you want to, but okay. <laughs> it wasn't really worth it. Nope, was not worth it at all. But I did it anyway. So this is like a side passage. So usually we can kind of go back and me and Pat usually do stuff where like one person leaves a portal, but uh. I mean, we're lazy. Also, I don't want to make this confusing, so... I'm trying to make this uh, one as, as the least amount of confusing as humanly possible. Because we're, we're essentially speedrunners at this game by this point. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to take it nice and slow so that, like, you know... We get our combat in. Uh, there's a fucking giant-ass fucking guy here that we need to kill. What's this one doing? I actually don't know. I'm gonna pick up the transmute though. Unless you need that for your quicksilver. No, I'm good. I think he's like st using storm call maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, I, I, I should hit him. Oh, fucking shit. <laughs> you just got hit! Alright. Fine. Got some binding shards and some other shards here, so I'll just take them all. Oh, the worst part is I had decoy totem up and you were still taking shit tons of damage. I don't know, it's splash damage. Alright, so first one we have uh, here are the Gladiator. 12% attack speed, some accuracy rating, and ignore all movement penalties from armor. That's kind of nice, we'll take that. It also means that we can equip this piece, of, this chest piece now. Uh, we don't even have to carry this thing around. And we actually move a lot faster now because the chest piece, not that much faster, but 
we don't we we don't have any movement penalties from having such a heavy piece of armor, now, which is really nice. We got some armor scraps, increase the quality of an armor. Like I said, just pick it up, hold on to it. At some point in the game, you'll be like, man, I, I, I'm so glad I hold, held on to all that shit. Or, the good thing is, pretty much all the items have a really good description of what they do, so it's really not as complicated as Mike may or may not be making it sound. I mean, I, I'm really not making it sound complicated. I have a yellow... What's that? May or may not. I have yellow armor, so I don't care. Alright. Portal's back home. The fuck, Pat has the same portal. Fucking, you gotta change your portal skin now. Okay, hold on. Fine, fine. I, I, I'll be... I'll be the Jew, then. Oh, uh, okay. Or, sorry, I'll be the Parandas. Let's hack you Well, I guess we'll talk to Hacker every time he levels up, at least. War will be the savior of Rayclast. We must take the fight to the corruption. We must conquer the Black Spirit. There is no other way. Where is my army, you ask? They are scattered across this land, oblivious to their calling. Exiles. Kadui and Oriathan both. They will rally, but only if we give them cause. For now, let us content ourselves with a pact between two warriors. My wisdom and my armor, on the understanding that you serve Tukuhama, father of war, when you can. On your own, you will survive. With others, you will conquer. You managed to kill a granddaddy crab. A pity you couldn't lug it up out of the caves for us. Could have made quite the chowder out of it. No matter. We've got one less reason to fear the dark. And I've got one more thing to thank you for. Farewell. Alright, so we just got a book of skill. Granted, passive point. We just got a free passive point. And obviously it only works for this character. You can't just like stockpile them and give them all to one character. That would be broken as Amazing. shit. Amazing. Uh, so I'm going to use this to basically go into some more life because we definitely need it after that little fucking engagement in the fucking forest there. Whatever the fuck we were doing. And with a harbinger. Yep. Our Dude leader. was tough. Dude was tough. Too. I hope he stays tough. Alright, let's uh, head back to the waypoint, I guess. Although, you, technically, Pat has a portal there. So, I mean, we could just use Pat's portal, I guess. So, I guess we're gonna go back. I mean, you can't do this on your own, but, I mean, all you'd have to do is just kind of, like, if I go here, you walk from up there, all the way back. I mean, I, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I, I know I didn't. Everything is completely randomly generated in this game, uh, but there is some key on where to go. And we'll we'll kind of talk about where where you know to go in certain areas. In this case, usually you head away from the uh, away from the waypoint, and then usually when you hit this bridge here, that means you've gone too far. It means that the, uh, the uh, what is it called the the fucking place with the it's fucking crab? Depth. Yeah, that place is going to be a little bit beside it. But if you go past the bridge, it's a little bit too far. But like, as far as me and Pat are concerned, we have never played, this is a completely new game to us every single time we play it. They've actually managed to do actual like random generation for this stuff. Like kind of like, agree. well, kind of like how Diablo 2 did it. Um, some things are not random and most things are basically not as random as they may seem, but it's on purpose. It's not because they couldn't do it. It was more like they wanted to have it. So like if you were racing, it became a very knowledge based game. So here's the ledge. The best zone in the game. Yeah, it's also the most complicated to navigate, as you can see. It's it this this ledge just has too many like ledges for me. So I just don't know which one to go on. You can you can tell it's definitely ripe with just dead ends and all like a fucking yeah, sarcastic. Oh look, the dead end. Oh goodness. No. <laughs> How will you ever backtrack, Mike? This is this, this is just known ass. for being. This is actually a really great like. People use it, well they used to use it to farm in like later, um, like later parts of the game, but unfortunately that's not really the case anymore because now we don't have difficulty levels. But it used to be a really good farming spot because it was linear and the, and the enemies are relatively tame, all things considered. Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and suggest oh. seeing the damage that that fire is doing to my zombies. Don't stand in the fire. I'm gonna stand in the fire right now. You don't tell me what to do. Uh, I'm no, taking fire damage. I'm not sure why. Oh, you'll never, you'll never learn, will you? <laughs> As he waggles his finger. 
fucking coral ring there. I'm debating if I should drop one of my rings and take a coral ring. I don't need it right now. Dude, I'll eat it. I'll eat that stuff up. That's fine. It's all yours then. Another I gotta be point. the I gotta be the tanky necromancer. All right, that's not a necromancer. Let's leave it up here, guys. Uh, we're gonna fucking call it quits. So take care, guys. Goodbye.